This is the Studio Gallery, Two Morley Road in Riverside, 10th of August 2011. These studies were made about oh, a year ago, and I wanted to trace the development of the season by going back to the same patch of scrub and, and just working day by day, see what happened. It's a very ordinary sort of place from the outside. You wouldn't be drawn particularly from the road but wonderful to me because it was a hilltop and had never really been farmed or disturbed or touched. So every thing you saw had always been there. And I went in and how I began with watching the shadow over this stone. It, that drew me in and from the stone I looked in behind and from behind I got drawn into the forest, which is the way the bush, the bush works on you. It's, it's like a magnet, you get pulled in, but you have to know it, you have to feel easy with it. And when I was nearly finished on that one, I happened to look up, and behind there were these two rocks, and they were, they were glowing lemon yellow in the sunset. It was quite remarkable. So I went up close and started working on them too. And I got drawn into their world. This was the next sort of three, four weeks I worked on this one. And from starting with an object or a rock, you get drawn into the rest into everything behind and you find pathways, the eye gets drawn in, you feel pulled in. And so that was the second one and then perhaps the, the last one of that little group began looking at this rock. The rocks here, they've never been disturbed or chipped or used for fences so this is the way the rock would split over thousands of years. And they're covered in lichen and moss and they've got this tremendous sort of uh, like beasts about to get up and as I was working of course being sunset the moon rose and that became the focus of the top and in a way it gave the colour focus my work is based on colour very much I'm influenced by the impressionists and by the English school both and in Australia you can make things up as you go along there isn't the weight of history perhaps, which you would find in Europe. So you f you're, e you're freer to move between ways of seeing things or schools than I think you might be in Europe or than I think I would have been if I'd stayed there. Because I came out here when I was 38. And then this is perhaps early September. This, the wattle blossom, is very, very strong, brilliant color and it's absolutely everywhere, it opens up very quickly and then it fades very quickly, you have to catch these trees within about a week that's all you've got and this is done at the edge of the hillside and behind this there's a native box coming up through the middle of the tall eucalypts and then uh, the little sheep track at the bottom so it's all, there's a, a local, every time you move you get a different landscape and then this one would be the same tree or the same sort of tree on a grey day where everything is in, in blues, greys and, <coughs> and, and sort of misty violets. Um, so you have a different character. And that's also what, I, what interests me to try and convey in painting. And this last one would be getting very near the end of the, of the blossom when it's <coughs> every tree is completely covered and you can't see really what's the blossom is doing because it's <clears throat> so full it's confused itself by then and that's my daughter and granddaughter in the distance <laughs>